from the creature comforts of gorgeous boutique hotels in the city to camping in a desert oasis under the stars, we're here to find out what Abu Dhabi has to offer for travelers. Come along for the ride as we find out that the journey from A to B is never a straight line and that sometimes the best experiences are just around the next turn. I'm Ellie, a travel blogger from the UK. I'm Romero, a wedding DJ from Germany. And we both love to travel. I don't actually know what to expect from this trip. Yeah, we actually don't know what we are doing yet. We can't wait to get started. So come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> now, we weren't sure what to expect from Abu Dhabi, but zipping up a skydiving jumpsuit at sunrise certainly wasn't it. I'd been skydiving before, but it was Romero's first time, and he was terrified. Go, go, go. Go, go. Welcome back! Thank you! <laughs> That's the best feeling I've ever had. That's good again! Yeah! <laughs> no, you did a great Thank job! Thank you very much! <laughs> Insane, insane. Um, How did Romero do? He did really well. It was super funny though, <laughs> seeing him land. <laughs> and the first of emotions that you get from your first skydive. Still don't have words for that because it was absolutely amazing. It was the best feeling I've ever had. Capital of the United Arab Emirates, Abu Dhabi is one of those places that just feels out of this world. We had no idea what to expect from this adventure, but we were ready to embrace everything we had ahead of us and immerse ourselves in the local culture. An adrenaline fueled morning skydive really works up an appetite. We booked a food tour with Dania, who wanted to show us a Thank great you. local spot for Arabic cuisine. Wow, what an incredible spread. This is uh, a fusion of Lebanese and Syrian cuisine. So are there any special ingredients that reoccur in a lot of dishes? Yeah, actually seven spices they are using and the pomegranate sauce and of course with the hot bread, it makes a big combination. Best falafel I've ever had. We'd stuffed our faces with the most delicious local cuisine. So we headed back to our hotel and jumped on a couple of their jet skis. Bill, one of our camera team, decided he couldn't pass up on the opportunity of getting stuck in. I've never done this before! I think Bill would have it more fun than the host. <laughs> Whoops! Guess we weren't so great at jet skiing. Being on the water in Abu Dhabi gives you a real sense of scale. And the skyline isn't the only sight to see. Dolphins! Oh, there's a baby! But this boat tour isn't just the leisurely cruise you might expect. Okay, time for some speed now. <laughs> Finishing our speedboat tour with some donuts, I was starting to sense a thrill seeker theme. Abu Dhabi gets hot, and as it approached the heat of the day, it was time to see what we could do inside. That doesn't mean it's any less impressive than outside, though. They have the region's tallest indoor climbing wall. Well done! Woo! Skydiving twice in two days? That was nuts! No prizes for guessing the flight chamber is the biggest one in the world. Abu Dhabi really doesn't do anything by half measure and Hinda, our local instructor, put us to absolute shame with her skills. Oh my god! I was surprised to discover that there was an actual Formula One circuit, just a five minute taxi ride away. Romero had no idea what was about to hit him. As we were suiting up, excitement was building. But one of us at least was taking this very seriously. Let's do this. As we got more comfortable, we were able to push ourselves faster and faster until we were really racing. Wow, the 
had was incredible. Best experience I've ever made and I was skydiving yesterday. Generally, you guys did really well, you know, the way, the way you, both, you both handled the car. It was great to have Martin for some racing pointers. He told us that after visiting the Palace of Formula One, we needed to shift gears and take in some culture, checking out a real palace in Abu Dhabi, Qasar al Watan. Being in Abu Dhabi made us feel small in the best way. The incredible scale of the palace was a sight to behold. Taking in a building like that with Romero was an incredible experience. Seeing such a beautiful place really whet our appetite for some culture. So we couldn't miss Sheikh Zayed Mosque, the largest in the UAE. Our guide Francesca was nice enough to show us how to dress respectfully to visit the mosque. Lindsay, our producer and I, chose some stunning abayas that caught our eye. Girls on the team are kitted out and ready to go. Indeed. Ready? <laughs> Shall we? Much like Kassar Watan, the mosque truly is enormous. So guys, as you can see now, we are in this beautiful and big square that is called Sahana. And this Sahana has a Guinness World Record because it's the biggest mosaic in the world. Francesca told us that the Sheikh Zayed Mosque was the first to be built with the intention of welcoming all forms of religious worship. That was really symbolic to me of the inclusive nature we've experienced here in Abu Dhabi. Sticking with the theme of grand buildings, we stopped by the Louvre. No, not that one. This Louvre is the largest museum on the Arabian Peninsula. It blends Eastern and Western art, and you can see it from a pretty unique perspective. Kayaks. Your move, Paris. Can we race? Absolutely. Okay, ready? On your mark? Mm -hmm. Get set, go. Let's go. <laughs> Anti advantage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys are really good. Can you tell us something about the roof? The dome was inspired by the sun passing through palm leaves. It is made up of 8,000 interlocking metallic stars. So the entire idea was to have shade and light at the same time. Those shades change every 40 seconds as the sun moves from the east to the west. So after racing kayaks around a world famous museum, who better to call again than our new foodie friend, Danya. This time around, we were trying traditional Emirati cuisine, which is more specific to Abu Dhabi. It has a real focus on beautiful meat, fish, and rice-based dishes. Wow, that's super impressive. There was such a diverse selection. We were in a food lover's paradise. One of the best ways to travel is to get advice from the people who live there. Of course, you have to visit the desert. You can do dune bashing and at night you see the stars of Abu Dhabi. It's amazing. You have to do it. We took Dania up on her suggestion and by the next morning we were dune bashing our way through the Al Hatim Desert, only an hour's drive out of the city. A word to the wise, it's a bumpy ride. <laughs> Our camera team sure took a beating trying to nail the perfect shot. <laughs> Dune bashing was an experience like no other. Our driver Bashir was so skilled and knew how to push the car to its absolute limit. How are you doing guys? All good? All good! <laughs> oh. <laughs> he made a heart. He made a heart for us. Just outside Abu Dhabi sits the world's largest uninterrupted sand desert. And coming out of the copper-colored dunes like a mirage was Casa Al Sarab, one of the most unique places we've ever stayed. This stunning desert resort was constructed to mimic traditional Arabic architecture from the 1800s. It's truly breathtaking. Walking through it feels like you're on a film set. Sunsets in the desert are like no other. It was well worth the hike up the tallest dune to watch it. For the first time on the trip, we could take the time to relax and take it all in. The jaw-dropping scenery, the close friendships we were forming, and everything we'd experienced in the trip up to this special moment. 
With the night drawing in and our spirits high, it was time to turn in for the night. Or so we thought. On the walk home across the dunes, we stumbled across a mysterious sight. And the next thing I knew, I was up on stage. The dancer was looking for volunteers and the crew pushed me onto the stage and I had to dance and spin in circles. Abu Dhabi has got to have some of the most fun deserts in the world. The next morning we had archery lined up, but not before Salem, our local producer, showed Romero how to wear a gutra. The main purpose of this is to protect your head from the sun, but now it's a kind of fashion also. He's a local now. We are with Waris. Hello, Waris. Hi. He is going to be showing us how to do some archery so that I can live out my Robin Hood dreams. Waris showed us the ropes and had his own very unique strategy to hit the bullseye. Just think you're in a jungle and you're hunting. You are very hungry. <laughs> but somehow, this actually worked. Excellent. Bam! Well done! Yay! We headed deeper into the desert to explore and came across some hidden gems, like a replica fortress. <laughs> and who knew you could grow cucumbers out in the desert? We are super excited to stay in the middle of nowhere in the Liwa Desert. Yeah, it's going to be super cool. We are camping just down there in the middle of an oasis. I am really looking forward to seeing what the stars look like tonight. From our desert camp in the dunes, we hopped on an ATV to explore the landscapes before the sun went down. As the sun set over the desert, we all shared stories around the campfire. The stars were absolutely magical, so we headed off to film them. But it turns out that everyone's a big kid when you have film lights that look like lightsabers. There you go. With a little time on our hands the next morning, we decided to do something a bit more extreme than just a morning coffee. That was super fun. You guys need to put your camera down and give it a go. After a wild few days exploring the stunning deserts around Abu Dhabi, it was time to head back to the city for some creature comforts. Before going to Abu Dhabi, I'd always thought it was all about luxury. And if that's what you want, then you can definitely get it. How about this? 24 karat gold coffee. Compared to coffee shops back home, I think this wins hands down. I don't think anything comes close unless I'm gonna go have tea with the queen. <laughs> Continuing with our luxury theme, we, well, you can see for yourself. The spa treatment was so relaxing, a perfect end to the trip. On the last day, we wanted to wind down with a nice relaxing paddleboard session in the sea, but our paddleboarding skills had other plans. Uh, uh, uh. The sea wants to spit me out onto the beach. <laughs> Oh well, at least we got to end the trip with a splash. I can't believe this trip has come to an end. It's been absolutely incredible. In only a week, we had seen so many different sides of Abu Dhabi. It's a place truly like no other. We arrived thinking it was all about luxury, but it turns out we were wrong. 
Abu Dhabi is for everyone, whatever your appetite for adventure. From the sea to the desert, the majestic city and a world of indoor experiences to explore. Helped along by generous locals and new friends, Abu Dhabi surprised us all in the best ways possible. Are we going down that?